Now we have um, Olivia Potter and Martin Brown from KWS and they're going to tell us all about their stand and their crops they've got on show at the cereal show this year. Olivia, fire away. Um, so on our stand this year we've got a similar layout to how it was last year so we've got a winter wheat wheel which has got all of our most popular winter wheats in and then we've got a spring barley, winter barley, spring wheat wheel as well and then we've got rye, um, all seed rape, oats and peas and we've also got sugar beet as well. Excellent and, and, and are these um, established varieties or new varieties? So a mixture of everything really. So we've got a lot of established varieties. Um, we've got a few additions in the spring wheat. So this is the first time I've been here since they've come up and they're looking really good. Um, so we've got Elysium and Harsum into the spring wheat market. Um, and then KWS Curtis, that's been rec they've all been recommended um, this year. So there are new varieties in terms of spring crops. Okay. And what about things like rye and peas and... Um, so we've got a couple of candidates for rye. We don't have anything recommended this year. So the pea variety that we've got drilled here is Manager. Um, so it's been around for a while. And then the oats variety we have here is Isabel. Same thing, popular. And what are you hoping to show your customers and potential customers? So the idea really is to get them in, have a chat about what they're already growing, what potentially if they're growing something perhaps that's a little bit older, maybe looking into pushing them into something that's newer and then for really just to have a look at the plots in front of them in comparison to some of the others that they already know so well and it's just that contact with the farmers that we don't get so often. Yeah. And, and because you've got a wide variety of, um, of crops is, is that because um, there's more of a, a swing to more obscure rotations and bringing in crops like rye or is that just because I, yeah i think from a kws perspective rotations is always important um and we're actually increasing our breeding programs from 24 products to 27 so rotations is quite a big part of what yeah. we're trying to do yeah yeah and and tell me about the show i mean was it a success last year yeah it was a brilliant success last year. I think um, for us, it was the first year back. For, we didn't go to the one the year before, okay. so it was the first year back for us. Um, so really good to get that contact with the farmers again, just spark up that conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and you're looking forward to it? Yeah. Weather permitting? Yes, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, today is much better than the last time we did this, so if that's, got, if that's anything to go by, then hopefully um, June will be good weather. Now... Martin, tell me about all things sugar beet. Not so, exactly a popular crop nowadays, but... Um, yeah, but the area's gone up uh, for this season, uh, coming with what is being sown now. Um, so we've got three main areas we want to show growers uh, this year on the stand. We have the um, Conviso Smart um, area, which has got um, uh, one variety, uh, both treated and untreated. And this is an area that's gained uh, big popularity uh, since it's... Uh, launched a few seasons ago so for growers who haven't moved into Caviso Smart it might be an area they're looking into and we can discuss uh, the options with them. Uh, we'll have a plot of a virus yellows tolerant variety. Um, obviously with the uncertainty about seed treatments going forwards uh, and increased aphid pressure uh, it's an area where we're trying to develop and breed varieties to help growers uh, to battle uh, the virus yellow strains. And an area I'm really excited about is uh, a plot of an up-and-coming variety that is um, very tolerant to Cercospora. Um, it's a disease we don't see much of in the UK currently, but with climate change uh, coming up, um, warmer, wetter summers potentially, it's a disease we may see more of. Um, and it's a variety that offers great, great tolerance uh, to the disease, and it's something we're excited to show uh, growers about what is coming up in the pipeline um, and can be launched very soon. Excellent, thank you. And you're looking forward to the show as well? Yes, definitely, yep. Did, um, did you have sugar beet last year? or We did. I didn't attend the show last okay. year, uh, but from what I hear, it was a great success, um, as always. But it's, as Olivia said, it's a great opportunity to have discussions with growers and talk about their experiences, and potentially talk about new varieties and getting the next step up in terms of yield and quality um, to help growers out. And both of you, is there anything else you're looking forward to seeing? Actually, the stand next to us is some sort of robot stand. 
So that'll be quite yeah. interesting. I don't know what that's all about, but that'll be interesting to have a look at. I'm hoping they'll, yeah, be driving them around. <laughs> it's always good to see what ideas have been sort of kept under wraps from uh, competitors mm. and things and see, see what's being launched and what is potentially the next big thing and what, you know, we've got to keep a finger on the pulse basically and uh, see what's happening in the um, agricultural world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant.